Hey what's up guys my name is Ritesh and today we're doing the second and the last part of the tutorial I posted last week. This video will be covering lighting and texturing and let's just get started without wasting any more time. So at the end of the last video we achieved the final set and we basically 3D modeled everything from scratch. So now since this is an enclosed interior space we need to create a window where the light can come from. As you can see there is no light in the scene at the moment. So I went ahead and cut a window in one of the walls. Now there are quite a few ways to achieve this. The most simplest way is to use inset. You can inset a face and then delete the face. The second simplest way would be by using the knife tool. You can just cut out a rectangle in any of the face you want and then select it and delete the face. The third and the last way would be by using boolean modifier. So first you create a stencil object which would be used as a cutout stencil. You put it through the wall that you want to create the window in. You select the original object, put boolean modifier on it. Now with the help of eye picker tool, you just have to select the stencil, select the stencil, hide it, apply the modifier and select the face and delete it. Now that you have the window but we still do not have a light in the scene so it's still pretty dark. So what we are going to do now is create a sun lamp in the scene. Now a problem that you are going to face with the sun lamp by default is that you will receive very harsh shadows. To resolve this you can just increase the angle in the lamp to get softer shadows and that should resolve the issue. Now all that is well and good but the back part of the interior is still quite dark. So we're going to make another sun lamp which is going to light up the back of the interior and while keeping everything else the same maybe just play around with the value. The value can be a bit lower because our main lamp is already lighting up most of the scene. Now I wanted some window shadow on the right side of my interior so I went ahead and created these two cube strips which would give me this fake shadow of a window which you would typically see in any of the interior scenes. So for texturing we are going to start with the wooden planks and the concrete walls that we had in the interior scene. So again most of the textures are from texturehaven.com. I'm going to be providing all the textures in the description box below. So first of all I'm going to create two new principal BSDF textures and I'm going to name one planks for the wooden floor and I'm going to name the other concrete for the other and now I'm just going to go ahead and assign the both to where they are supposed to be. So orange represents the concrete and the pink represents the planks. Just go ahead and import the diffuse texture or the color information and attach it to the base color of the texture node. And if you get something like this, do not worry, it's just because it has not been unwrapped yet. Just press U and then Smart UV Project and press OK. Still there is an issue, as you can see, the blanks are just way too big. So press Ctrl T to get Node Wrangler. To enable Node Wrangler, you just go in your edit and then preferences and search for Node Wrangler and enable it. So first of all, I want my blanks to face horizontally to the camera angle. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate it on the Z axis by 90 degrees. So now that they are facing horizontally towards the camera, I'm going to increase the scale on the Y axis as I want more planks to be visible in the scene. Now you can go ahead and import the other textures in the scene like roughness and displacement as typically one would. But I'm going to be telling you an easier and faster way to do this. And this is only possible because we are downloading our textures from texturehaven.com. So texturehaven.com provides you with blend files as well. Just open the blend file that they provide you and copy the sphere or whatever object that there is in the scene and just paste it in your interior scene. I'm just going to paste it here and I'm going to scale it up so you guys can see it. Just select the object that you just pasted and you're going to see the texture that's been applied on it, old plank 02. And now I'm just going to go ahead and replace planks with old planks 2. So you have a finished texture. The only problem is that the planks are way too big and they're facing vertically towards the camera angle. So I just told you how to fix that. 
just go ahead and do that just play with the node wrangler values and you will have a finished wooden plank texture so i wanted my wooden planks to be a lot more reflective than they are by default so i just went ahead and disabled the roughness node and i and i gave the roughness a custom value of my own and don't do this if you don't want to i just wanted my floor to be a lot more reflective now you can just go ahead and do the same for the walls of the interior i use this concrete texture from texturehaven.com one thing i did change in this texture is that i did not like the color that it came with so i added a color ramp node in between base color and the texture and i bumped up the white value a bit so i get a lot more white in the scene coming to the chair texture i've used this texture before as well and i'm using it again it's called the book pattern just go ahead and copy and paste it in your scene similarly apply it on your chair as you can see the texture is not visible on the chair yet that's because it has not been unwrapped yet do the same select the chair go in edit mode make sure you have all the faces selected press u and smart uv project and there you go you have the texture on it now with the chair i did not like the color that it by default comes with so i went ahead and deattached the base color node of the color and i gave it a custom color of my own which would be appropriate for my interior scene that's about it you can just go ahead and apply these same rules to the rest of the interior scene and you would have achieved this quality architectural render so hopefully you like this tutorial let me know if there is anything else that i can help you guys with or want me to make another tutorial on make sure you follow me on my instagram i try to post there daily and keep you guys updated with whatever is going on you can also join my discord server for any of your queries and you can check out some of my work on my website all the links are in the description box below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye